Hello everyone, back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to set up my custom admin panel that uses Discord webhook logins, so you can see like um, you know, whatever commands are being used. It's actually pretty simple. So let me just get straight into it. So, um, you want to insert the uh, you want to join my Discord server to get the model. Um, once you verify, you'll be able to see the video models channel right here, and it'll show uh, all the models for my videos. And um, after you just drag and drop the model in. Um, then it'll look like this. If you have my plugin, you can get the, you can get the models like probably a day or two early before I make the video and I'll announce in my server when I add them so you can see them. Um, but once you insert the model, just take the admin folder, put it in replicated storage, then take the admin server manager script and put it in server script service. Now you want to watch my video on how to set up a proxy, your own proxy and for Heroku so you can use webhooks. And just come back to this after you watch that video. But after you do that, you want to go to this webhook service module script right here. And where it says URL, you want to put your proxy URL and then your access key. So I'm going to do that real quick. After you put that in there, um, that's your proxy done. So all you have to do is go to this, uh, this server manager script. And you have to do two things. First thing, you want to go to your Discord server. Go to server settings, integrations, webhooks. And create a webhook if you haven't already and then go ahead and click copy url and then go back here and then uh where it says webhook url put url right here and um now to give people admin it's pretty simple you just, you just have to put their user id in this table so if you go to the roblox uh like profile you can get their user id from the url so i'm at my uh profile here and i just go up here and copy the uh the uh, user ID, put it in the table. And then if I want to add multiple people, you just add a comma space and then put another user ID and just do it like that. But I'm just going to use mine for now. And that is everything set up. So let me sh uh, show you how to use this. So once you go ahead and click play, you'll have the panel should pop up on the right right here. Just click that. And this is the admin panel. You can select a player and then um, you can you can freeze them, unfreeze them, teleport to them, bring them, uh, kick them, ban them, test, kick, and it says you've been kicked for test. And then in the um, in the um, the Discord server, it'll show right here. It says it says the player was kicked by, and then the and then the name of the admin that was kicked. I mean the name of the admin who kicked the player. So reason test, and then their user ID like that. So after you do that, um, if you want to use the set stats button, it's pretty simple. Um, up here where it says stats command enabled, set that the true. And then leader stats folder name, set that to the name of your leader stats folder, which is most likely going to be leader stats, but it's whatever you create it. And it'll automatically set um, stats to whatever, like, um, let me, let me get like a free leader stats script real quick. I'll show you how it works. So, if I do money leader stats right here, and you see it's just a simple cash leader stat, but if I go ahead and click play, um, the folder, it should create like a folder or something in your character called leader stats, and then it'll have your cash and stuff like that. So in here, if I select a player, set the value to like 99999, click set stats, it'll automatically set any stats that are a number value or like an integer value in your leader shots to that number. So you don't really have to do that much setup. It's pretty simple. And to unban people, you can just put their user ID in the um, the reason slash value box and then click unban and it'll unban them. I'll show you what it looks like on screen after you unban them. And yeah, so you can also set the theme color right here to this value. Um, if I want it to be like, uh, like a light green, I'll set it and click okay. And then it'll change the outline of everything to that color you set it to. Basically the main theme of the uh, admin panel. So this is a pretty simple setup. If you need any help, you can join my Discord server. And um, I'll be free to help you. And uh, make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 700. And yeah.